things just got funky in One Piece. So this week's episode, it felt like we got to see a lot of different things that was going on. But as far as progressing those things, we didn't really get much of that because we saw like, okay, this is what's happening over here. This is what's happening over there. But as far as like actually things, you know, progressing in those particular parts, it really was light on that. For starters, we got the whole thing with this Hideo guy that he knocked the giant out. And it's like, ooh, you're a real big man, bro. You can kick over a fucking unconscious giant. Now, I'll give you credit. You know, you're strong enough to move a giant. Hell, I couldn't do that. No normal person could do that. So I'll give you credit in that aspect, but he's knocked out. So what? You're badass for kicking over somebody that is unconscious. Really, Hideo? So. So they were building him up in this episode and it's kind of like yeah he's supposed to be you know a threat and everything and i felt as though that's what this episode was trying to do is build up a lot of these small time people they were doing that with the hideo guy they were doing that with the bandit guy they were doing that with the funk brothers bobby and kelly that's mainly what the goal was for this episode and it was like a lot of these people again we don't know who they are so it was mainly just trying to add character to them and trying to introduce them to us in this fight so that's i felt the focus that they had but we did get other bits as well uh one of the things i was like i felt like they were torturing me i felt like it was such a tease it's like cut back to do flamingo admiral fuji Tora, and law and it's like fuck you know this battle is so intense he got another meteor coming at them and it's just like this is intense you know law is running for his life practically trying to stall for time and then we cut out of there so it was like not that much progression other than, yeah, Law is still, you know, he's on the road right now. He got an Admiral and Dolph Mingle that is probably close to Admiral level, if not there. So, in that aspect, it was like, ooh, things are looking real grim for him. We did get that one scene with Zoro, but it was really pointless and irrelevant, to be honest with you. Except that it was just showing a little bit more that those gnomes are really strong when he was beating on Zoro's stress. He's like, you're gonna break my bones! So... Uh, that was really the only thing that it added, but in all honesty, that was just an unnecessary scene, and it was just them padding out the episode for time, so didn't really need that scene. It was funny to a small degree, just seeing Zoro getting pissed off about this little gnome going crazy, but didn't really wasn't necessary. One of the big things that this episode provided definitely was that Dawn Ching Zhao, out of all the newcomers in this ring right now that we got, Hideo, the Funk Brothers, uh, the Bandit, all of these people, the one that to look out for definitely, and the one that really got me hyped was Dawn Ching Zhao, when he's just going, he's like, all of you people, you punks need to go back to training, and he uses the Conqueror's King Hockey, so that 500 million bounty that he had on his head, you know, being a pirate and everything, it wasn't just a bag of air, so definitely giving like out of all of them while they're trying to prove that they're bad you know they're they're hot shots and whatnot don't change i was like let me show you what a hot shot really is and he just knocks out loads of people granted you you can say that okay the bandit didn't get knocked out and also what, what's up with this whole like how big is this ring because like there's times where it looks like you can see the end of the ring and it's like you just see the characters that you're focusing on right now right now you don't see the rest of the characters like i remember that happened in the luffy and the bull episode and everything and it's just like where <laughs> how big is this ring when you have giants you have tons of people running around you have like all these fights the funk brothers you know getting funky everywhere how big is this ring but definitely the big thing about this episode again was don ching Zhao. it was just like he's coming for lupi's head and the title was no joke lupi is in trouble because he has hideo that he's trying to you know yeah i need the food so i could get stronger then you have the bandit which pretty much he knows more or less that that's luffy and then you have don ching Zhao. so a lot of people are coming for him so a lot of setup in this episode and again building these people up the funk brother stuff it's cool and all, and their power seems interesting, but I'm really not excited for them, to be honest with you. And it's like, it's building up people, maybe in the distant future, they might do something that might be interesting. But as of right now, to me, they're just like, they're relevant for the moment, but they won't be really all that important to the story. So, Funk Brothers, you, you never know, maybe there'll be something big, but as of right now, I really didn't care about them either. It just felt like, yeah, obviously they're from the manga, but it, it just... It, doesn't interest me and it doesn't feel like it's really necessary to show them in great detail like yeah this brother does this this brother does that nah like the, get more of that don't change out get more of that doflamingo law and admiral fujitora 
Hell, even the Zoro shit to an extent, if it would have been a little bit more interesting, would have been more than the Funk Brothers. I mean, I, I guess it's a little bit interesting how he, like, came back and he was, like, boxing and it looked like they fused or something. So that, that was interesting in a sense with the Funk Brothers, but they just, like, the Zoro scene and the Funk Brothers scene, two scenes that I really didn't care for with this episode. And overall, this episode didn't really do much progression. It was, like, going through the tournament a little bit. Loopy lost his helmet. We got the big revelation that Don Chin Jiao can do the King's Hockey. So we got some stuff here and there, but it really wasn't that big of an episode in progression wise and development wise anything like that so it was a fine one at best i would say i'd probably give this episode a six and a half out of ten it was fine nothing too extravagant art and animation looked really good decent in the very beginning with the heat all scene and then like as it progressed throughout the episode it felt like it was getting like worse and worse so i don't know what's up with that maybe somebody on the team really loves heat or something i don't know but yeah that's pretty much my world thoughts of this episode what do you guys think first of all do you think they are cheating us a little bit too much not giving us some of that dope flamingo again and the manga let me be clear in the manga it wasn't just like that was an onslaught of law and stuff like that it was cut up like this as well but too much on this like funk brother stuff and i think that once we get to a certain point, things will be smooth sailing, even in the anime, because I remember in the manga, it was like, eh, you know, feeling a little shaky with all this tournament stuff, but we just gotta wait a little bit longer to a certain point, and I think everything will be smooth sailing from there, but yeah, six and a half out of ten, and just your overall thoughts of this episode, did you enjoy it, did you dislike it, again, I felt it was fine, but it really lacked in certain areas, and again, some unnecessary stuff, but that's all I have for this review, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you liked anything I had to say, or you enjoyed the video, drop me a like, I'd greatly appreciate it, I'm Fanet World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.